Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be unboxing my Funko Box of Fun. So let's get started. Okay guys, so before we get started, I want to talk about something that Noah's going to be doing over on his channel. So Noah, come here for a second. Come on over. No, come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You want me to promote it? I'm going to come over. You, I'm going to promote it. You got to be in it for a second. So guys, Noah is going to be trying out a couple Funko videos. So what happened was we were over at, uh, well, we went on vacation. You guys know that we went to Cape Cod for uh, eight days. And while we were there, Noah decided to get a couple uh, Funko Pops. And he's got a bunch. He's had some for a while, actually. But we just put them in my collection because he wasn't collecting them anymore. So he decided to get a couple and he's going to be trying out a couple videos on his channel. He's going to try and differ, dif like difference himself from the differentiate. community. Differentiate himself from the community. He's going to try and do different kind of funny videos with um, pops and stuff like that. So we're going to see how those go. And if he likes him, he'll start doing, you know, hunts and reviews and top fives and stuff like that. So if you guys like those, um, let him know. Go over to his channel. It'll be linked in the description, top of the description. But just to let you guys know. So you're good now. You can go. Okay. Unless you want to stay over there and watch what I get in this box. Okay guys, so we have the box of fun, which you had to get from Fun Days. Now, if you guys don't know, let me tell you a little bit about this because it was a special way to get it. It was on the Funko shop and you needed a code to get it. The code was, if I'm not mistaken, radical and what you had to do was type it in it was like the it was like the website was shut down like they were working on it like maintenance or something but then you type in the words radical and then it takes you to the page where you could buy a box of fun now box of funds are from fun days fun days is a thing they do at sdcc every year it's a party you pay i think 140 dollars for a ticket but you get a lot of really cool stuff and when you go um like cletus was there they had zach Ryder. Um, Ming was there from the comic book men, um, as well as there was the Black Ranger from Power Ranger, but I can't think of his name. Sorry if you're watching, you're not, but I, I just sorry if you are. Um, also guys, put in the comment section below what his name was, but, um, yeah, so they, uh, there was a bunch of people there, a bunch of really fun stuff. They announced stuff, they had giveaways and free stuff to give to everybody, and this was one of those things that you get. Everybody got one of these. It was the box of fun. It's got stuff inside of it, and there are three pops inside of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. I'll show you it. I haven't even seen it yet. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I kind of have an idea of what's in this one because they don't give you all of the great stuff that you get for if you actually went to fun days, but um, from this, it's, it's, it is a pretty good box, so... Uh, you know, you get stuff that not everybody would have in their collection if you get this. Let me show you it, guys. Let me slide it out here. I don't know which side's the up or down, so I'll have to go through that. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so this is the front of the locker here, as you guys can see. Now, we're going to go through all of this, too, on here, because it says 2018 RAA. I'm not sure what RAA is, but it says Hawkins High School, because it was the 80s theme. It was uh, prom this year was their theme, so they had, like, a bunch of 80s stuff, and most of it was uh, Stranger Things. But as you guys can see on the front here, it says Funko, Freddy Rules, Hawkins Universe, or Hawkins High School. Then it also has a Stranger Things a sticker there, a Class of 98. Um, the, you know, 98 because it was Funko's first year at actually their 20th anniversary. Also, it says Funko Fun Days 2018 right on the top there. So that's pretty cool. It says Hawkins High School, Fanatics Forever, I Hurt the 80s. Um, it's got a uh, pl Place Arcade, Palace Arcade. Um, I don't know what game it is, but it looks like just a Stranger Things game on there because I think I can see Hopper. Um, Hawkins, 1983, Middle School, AV Club. Then on the back here, guys, there's a note from Freddy, which I'll just read for you guys. If you're reading this, then you found my secret message. I want to say a big thank you to the Funko fanatics. Without you, Funko wouldn't have been possible. You know, it's been 20 years since I started this dream of running at my own toy company. From the early years in the garage to having my own Funko flagship store. From Wacky Wobblers to the phenomenon of Pops. Wow, what a ride. I guess it is true. If you're a dream big, work hard, and surround yourself with like-minded funsters, anything is possible. I can't wait to see what the next 20 years will bring and for you to be a part of it. Anyhow, thanks for coming to Fun Days 2018. And remember, don't forget to always have fun. Your pal, Freddy. And then it says, Hugs Not Drugs is a star. Remember Barb and then 20 years of fun. That's a sore spot right there. But um, anyways, guys, really cool. Then on the bottom here, you can see the drawing of the demon-ish thing in uh, season two, as you guys can see here from Stranger Things. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to do this kind of blind style when I'm doing this box because I don't want to see everything right away. So we're going to do this one at a time, see how it goes. And uh, let's get into the first pop here, guys. So I don't want to see it. So let me see. It'll be the hardest to grab the first one, but I'll start from the top and then go down. Okay, so, and I, I pretty much looked up all of these, so I know what these are. I haven't looked in here, mine box in particular, but uh, let's see how this goes, guys. Let's see how this goes. I think it'd be this way. Okay. 
Ooh, okay, guys, so this is the first one that we got here. Now, these will all be going in protectors for me because I, I like my protectors and PP Joe protectors. We have a lot of those, but um, this one here is limited to 5,000 pieces, and this is the Freddy Funko Special Edition, and this is the Freddy Funko in his grease suit. So that's pretty cool because this is what the, the grease character would be wearing. And then they have the Freddy Funko, uh, the F on there. It's limited to two 5,000 pieces, guys. So it's a, it's a pretty, you know, like uh, out there pop, but this is one of the cooler ones. Now they did the more, like the less limited ones to these boxes for everybody that bought them online. So it is kind of fun just to get them and at least you get a taste of fun days for not going. But then it says Freddy Funko on the side there, which looks pretty cool. And then it's got the Freddy Funko uh, conventions exclusive on the back here. So people who went could have actually got these ones in their boxes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, limited to 5,000 pieces. It's a really nice pop, actually. I, I like this one a lot, and I think it looks good. I like the Freddy. I always got his hands out and everything. Most of the heads are the same for these Freddies, but um, it's a pretty cool pop, in my opinion. So let's move on to the next one here, guys, because I don't want to um, see it. Let's see what's here. Okay, let me see if I can close this back up, and I'll flip it back over. There's one left in here, and then I have... Well, there's two, actually. The one that I'm about to show you, and then one more in the box. So let's see what we got here. This one... Hey, this one is Robot Freddy, if you guys don't know. So this is the Freddy Funko. Now, they actually did two things here. They had a Robot Freddy one. This is like Astronaut Robot Freddy, I guess you could say, because they had a normal Robot Freddy where he had a different body, and then they had an Astronaut Freddy, and they put both of them together, and they made this pop. So this is also a different paint job for that as well, but it is a very cool character. I like this one a lot. Um, but you guys can see here, it has the uh, limited to 2,000 pieces here, which is pretty cool. And these are the conventions exclusive stickers as well, which I think is a little bit even cooler. Um, yeah, again, guys, the box is pretty much the same. They just redo the inserts on the inside. I wanna take this one out because I haven't seen this one in person yet. Let me see, where'd my knife go? Is my knife over here? Because I want to open it up nicely if I'm going to do this. If you guys don't know, I've got the trick. Um, I've shown this off a million times, but I'm going to show it off again. You just take your knife in here, and you just bring it in, pop it. Then it doesn't give you that crease on the inside of the box. Boom, nice and clean. Now, it does say uh, Space Robot Blue. If I'm not mistaken, there was also a gold and black one that came out this year. But I'm going to show off this one because this is the one that I have. But here it is here, guys. Look at this thing. This thing's amazing. These Freddy ones are some of my favorite pops. If you're really into Funko, you would like these a lot more. You know what I mean? Like, if you've been into collecting pops for a long time and you just don't get the odd one here and there, if you're, like, a DC fan, if you're into, like, Funko, these are, like, really cool pops. And also, guys, if you never took this one out of its box, you would never see the back, which has the cool thing. And I like the flag that he's got here, too. It's nice and straight up, which I like. Um, normally I think it was supposed to be like this, but because the box is smaller than his arm going out, um, it folds up a bit, but it is pretty cool still. Um, I'll probably have nice photos of these on my Instagram if you guys want to check these out. Uh, I'll take some cool photos. But, um, I'm also going to show you the last one now because I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. But, uh, yeah, this has actually been a really cool mystery box-ish so far. I mean, it's not really a mystery box because most people are getting these ones if you bought them on the, um... Funko shop. If you buy them at the action, or if you get them at the uh, like fun days, you get a lot of really cool things that weren't in here. Um, but let's get into the last one here, guys. I'm just going to show you it with me. We'll do it like this. Okay, guys. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's upside down. Hey, this one's cool. Um, so also, I'll show you the inside of the uh, box after we're done with these. But this one here, guys, is the Freddy Funko 5,000 pieces. So it's not too limited, but they put the 5,000 on there. And this is the Dumb and Dumber one. So I believe this is either Dumb or Dumber. I'm not really sure which one it is. But if it's on Stashpedia, it's whichever one the... Uh, well, I don't really know. It'll say, though, I think, if I'm not mistaken on there. Because they don't have photos right now. But... Um, this is it. Really cool pop. And the same box as before. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's the baby blue suit, which also... Now, which one does... Noah, do you know which one Dumb and Dumber wears? Like, if you were to call him that? I don't think I've ever seen it. I know, because this is the suits that they wear in this. They used to have uh, onesies exclusive to um, Target. But here is the actual character. I like the way the blue uh, crown is as well. They change up the crown color on these, which I think is cool. It kind of reminds me of what uh, they were wearing at Fun Days, actually. So, uh, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, the way he's got his hands to the front there, and the Freddy Funkos on these just look amazing. I think they're very detailed and really cool. The only thing is that they never change up the heads. Like, I mean, the Robot Freddy was different, but they really just used a re-sculpt on that one, so... I'm not going to give them that, but a lot of the other ones that you could actually get at the convention had some really cool paint jobs on their heads and stuff like that. There was a Pennywise one and some other stuff as well. But let me show you um, what the inside of the box looks like because I couldn't show you that before because I didn't want to, you know, spoil everything for us. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got photos of uh, 
Oh, that's funny. So they've got like David, uh, Shelly, Billy, Chris, Far Chris, Far Chris Ferris, um, Freddie Funko's in here. I'm not really sure who the other people are, but I know they put Freddie Funko in there just as a little joke, little gimmick there. You guys can see him right there. I'm not sure who the other people are. Then there's like a, uh, a football photo with Freddie, and then it says, should I stay or should I go? Fanatic on board. Um, just a bunch of really cool little photos in here like you would have inside of a locker if it's your own personal locker. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. If you guys liked this video, let me know because uh, I do like doing these types of videos. I probably won't ever be able to do one of these again. Oh, I missed this side. It says Pop Palace Arcade. Hello, my name is Freddy Funko. If it ain't Funko, it ain't fun. And then the official Funko Fanatic sticker down bottom there. I missed that side. So if anybody wanted to see that, there it is right there. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching.